Maybe I get some alone time. Real quick. I'm gonna lock my door. A long time. Let's see if I yeah, I'm locked the door. My two year old gonna come in here. Cause havoc. <laughs> What's up everybody? Uh let's see. Yeah, we all live. So, as you guys saw that, uh, you guys left CJ stream. We just went live and showed you how I saw. What's up, O? What's up, Reefing with O? Oh, okay, so we're just gonna have a little chit chat real quick. Um, what's up, Reefing with O? Uh, what's up, Sky High? What's up, y'all in the building? Hey, Flashcoms, pleasure meeting you also. Uh, let me try to get some light in here. Okay, that's better. Click clap. Click clap, my guy. Uh, you should get a filter. Uh, yeah, I got a filter on the back. Um, Sky High Reef. So um, when I turn the camera around, you're going to see the filter. See? I got a filter right here. Okay. Um, so it is Mother's Day and I had to spend a lot of time with the family, but I'm getting a little, a little break. <laughs> oh, Kevin, what's up, Kevin, man? It's good to see you down there, man, in Raleigh. Um, and look forward to some more IG posts. Uh, hey, what's up, Phil? Um, happy Mother's Day to your wife. To Kevin, uh, I'll tell Marquita that he said Happy Mother's Day to her. Okay, so um, yeah, we're gonna talk about what I got from ReSmart. So my thoughts on ReSmart, real quick. Um, I liked it, I really did. Um, so I'm not a. I think I think I'm changing as far as um, crowds and stuff. I'm not so much of a big crowd person anymore. I like the smaller, um, like, you know, intimate um, crowds. Shoot. Okay. Is it locked in? Um, I like the smaller crowds. Um, so this was a smaller event in Charlotte. I mean, not Charlotte, Raleigh, Durham. Um, so I was invited from, um, her name is Grace, Miss Grace. She invited me down to ReSmart. And me and my family um, felt so good to be um, VIP. I gotta find my badge, but um, I had a little VIP badge or whatever. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. So um, yeah, she invited us down there, me and my family. We drove down, made a weekend out of it, and um, Picked up a couple frags. I didn't go crazy. Um, I got to um, see TR um, SC Aquatics, um, Click Clack Reeves, um, Kevin ENH Vlogs, and um, met Flashcon also. So I know y'all tired of me babbling. I know y'all in the chat. What's up, TMG? Um, what's up, CJ? <laughs> um, so let me show you guys what's going on over here what I got going on. So, um, I bought some frags, okay? Um, I'll show you on a frag wreck real quick. Set the tripod up. Okay. Ah, tripod, stupid tripod. Okay. All right, here we go. That event was too expensive. <laughs> Man, that, you know what? I I can agree with that to a certain extent that it was too expensive. But all of them are. All of the reef for losers and um all of the vent see the vendors set their prices. So the event itself, you know, the people that do the event, they don't set prices. <laughs> so um you see, you guys made me nervous carrying that big old tank. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, if you guys didn't check out the the 
the tank um, update I just had um, on YouTube. That was my first episode of the new series. Um, I, I think I'm thankful that I had guys helping me move that tank. This tank is deceivingly heavy. When I say deceivingly heavy, it's when we had it um, with the suction cups. Um, it didn't seem that heavy, but getting it into the stairwell, which is a narrow stairwell, sucker was super heavy. I'm um, trying to make gains. Is this the one? This is the one fifty. I'm trying to make gains. Is that TMG? Trying to make games? Yeah, so I do have it up already. <laughs> I had it up for like a month now. <clears throat> Haven't been updating YouTube. So I do have um two two um sets of clowns. I have some um flurries and some nearly nakeds. I like a little diversity. Um so I didn't want just so they all kind of confuse her, who's the male, who's female. Um, I thought they were paired up. Those two are paired up. These two, they beefing. But I'm not worried. They're, they're all, they'll do good. See, it's, it's a mess right now. Those three actually know each other. This little one right here is a new one. Um, picked them up for like 30 bucks. I was hoping they paired up, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what it does. Um, so yeah, uh, let me go through the chats. Are you going to Magna? I'm not going to Magna. Um, not this year. Went well, last year, it was fine, but not going to Magna. Um, so this is what I got on my frag. I know I'm moving real fast. Um, on my frag tank, my, my frag rack, I mean, got some Zoas. That's a Gandhi pour that red one right there. That's a Cyphasia. This orange and white is a sponge. It's called a Spider-Man sponge. Um, got that Favia, Jason Fox, um, jack o lantern left the cereal. Um, got this Frostmon, Satosa, um, Hammer. Got this, this A-can is dope. Um, this mushroom is really dope too in person. It's, it's like a fire red. And then I got some stuff from TRSC and um, Cheesy Corals. So I got this um, A can, and that's a, um, a big other chaos head. And the rest of these little $5 um, Zoas haven't opened up yet. <laughs> so that's, that's my prize gold torch. Um, CJS. Um, Tons of coral, tons of corals to mount. When's the sun coming online? That will be this week. I had to order some more plumbing parts. Let me show you guys. Y'all want to see the sump? See some sump action? Somebody left a video, uh, a comment on one of my pages. I can't remember if it was Instagram, but they was like, if we don't see the sump action, um, I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> so this is my sump. So I'm still working on it, um, as you can see. All right, turn the lights on. Let me turn the lights on, turn the lights on. Is that all my lights? It ain't damn, I feel a little dim under here. Yep, all my lights. So these, I got these lights at um, Home Depot. They just stick on it and it's batteries. So I put them everywhere. And it comes with this remote. And you can change the color from green to white to red to blue. But I, I usually keep them on white. They're like $14, so. Um, so the slump is coming online. So what I'm doing is using this white PVC to kind of like dry fit it, basically. And when I measure it, I'm gonna number, I'm gonna label it and get my um, measurements right. So basically it's gonna come all the way up and over. So I'm gonna need 90s. Um, Cause I want it out the way. I don't want pipe work all down here. Or like you know crossing over and all that stuff i want this up and over and then over so it's going it's going to go up it's going to go straight back then going to buck a right and then it's going to go into my my plumbing so um this is a geo reef sump with all the bells and the whistles um this is a clara c gen 2 
5,000. Um, I know people are like um, a slow foot on the whole filter media roll. Yes, CJ, color PVC. I got um, I got some orange PVC right there in the corner. So, oh, that's orange. So it's gonna be orange and gray. So all this is gonna match. So this is not, this just um, to play with. It's like $2 at Home Depot, so I could cut it to size. Um, so the filter roller sponge, um, the, the automatic filter roller, it's the 5,000. Um, so this is for the bigger tanks. So this is gonna really help me as far as, you know, not, not having to change filter, um, filter socks. And since it's, I upsized it, it's going to, um, the filter roll is going to last longer. Depending on the body load, but yeah, it's going to last longer. Um, um, Tina, that's a lot of turns. Won't that affect hair pressure? Only on the, um, the return side. So the, the, as far as the um, drains, the drains don't matter because it's draining down. But if you had like 90s and a bunch of bands on the return pump, then it will affect head pressure. So um, partially right, it will affect head pressure, but only on the return side, not the drain side. The drain, you can have it do anything you want, basically. Um, yeah, so O said he has the Clarity 3000. I have the 5000 and just a little bit um, more water volume, so. If you love yours, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love mine. I bought 11 of those filter rollers, so I have some for the whole year. <laughs> um, so if I could explain the sump for a minute, like I said, the drains come in here. I'm gonna stack this with uh, Marine Pure. Uh, I don't got no flashlight. Sorry guys, y'all can't see under there, but this is gonna be Marine Pure balls. Then it's gonna go into the filter roller. Then it's gonna go into the skimmer section. So I got plenty of room from a, a big skimmer, whatever size. My heater's gonna on, go on here. I actually gotta get some different size heaters because the ones I have are too long. Um, I bought this a while ago. It's just a um, probe holder, but it comes with a probe holder and dosa holder, dosa line holders. Um, this is really cool to route your wire outside. You know, um, this is for like the container. The wires, so both my heaters, they're gonna come up through these wires and it's gonna be nice and neat. Um, this right here is a, a media reactor. Uh, sorry, it's kind of dark under here. And um, the last section is my refugium. So what I really like about this sump is the refugium as far away from the skimmer as possible. That way, like most refugiums are like right beside the skimmer section and it caused light bleed into the skimmer. Um, also, if it's before the skimmer section, copepods and all that stuff gets sucked up in the skimmer. This is way on the end, so all of the copepods or whatever is gonna go into the return section and go into the tank. So that's the sump. That's the sump. Thank you. <laughs> so the calcium reactor, let's talk about that for a minute. Um, this is a 618 calcium reactor, Geo's calcium reactor. All this is Geo sump calcium reactor, and, and I did all Geo's. Um, it's kind of tight under here, yeah. Um, so I have this the main chamber. This is going to be all my reborn and my remag. And that's the second. Um, this is the second uh, reactor and chamber, which a smaller media is going to go into that. And then that's the that affluent line is gonna go to this inside the um refugium. Okay. I can't really tell you about calcium reactors because I never ran one. So we're gonna go on this journey together. But this is my calcium reactor. This right here, this was an unexpected um buy. <laughs> um this is called the cryptic, right? So after talking to uh, Sardi and Rico, um, I wanted something for my Marine Pure balls. Um, I didn't want to put Marine Pure in here. I wanted to keep this clean. This is actually going to come out. I want to keep this section clean, right? 
and I could put a lot of media marine beer balls in this. That's not going to stay so clean because all the dirty water going to hit it. I don't care. But this, I wanted, um, I could put a lot of, so this is something new. It's like a wet, dry filter almost. Um, so the water comes in here and basically um, showers the media, the uh, marine pure balls and all your sponges and, and Kobe pods and all that stuff grow in there because it's, it's no light penetration and they come back out. So it's like a some type of degasking. I don't know the, all the language when it comes to it, but um, he explained it to me, he sold me on it. So, and Rico backed it. I, I really wanted something for my Marine Pure to sit in and that I could service beyond the sump. You know, so I could just pull this out and then, you know, do what I gotta do. But all the sponges and stuff gonna grow in here because it's completely dark. So that'd be a good thing. All right, let me see what questions. Oh, what y'all say in the comments? Oh, thanks, CJ. Reactor is a beast. Yeah, this goes up to um, 300 gallons. So for my next bill, all this is coming with me. So one thing I did, um, I was talking to Reefer Gill today over the phone. Um, I was telling him my thought process was this is not going to be my last tank, probably my second to last tank. And I'm going to all of my sump, calcium reactor, all this stuff is going to the new bill. Um, Got to recalibrate it, but my pH has been holding 8.2. Had pH just have be interesting to see how the aging tanks affect. Um, everything, thank you. I thought trickle filter was a no-no in this hobby. Um, I think, I don't say it was a no-no, but I think it was more so an old, older um, way of doing things. So, um, yeah, this all this equipment is going to the new bill <laughs> in about three years. I say three years, I'll get a new my for my last tank. I I don't think I'm get anything over three hundred gallons at the most. You know, three hundred, three fifty, something like that. Um, that's for aerobic and aerobic and anaerobic zones. Okay, thank you, Kevin, for explaining. That. I got I, I knew it was something like that, but. I don't know all the language. <laughs> Trickle filter will help degas the CO2. He did say that too, also, um, CJ. Sorry, so. Are you running a tank sumpless? I am at the moment. I am. So you can run a tank sumpless. You don't, and I'm showing you guys I can do it, but you do, you do need to have flow. So both of my MP40s are on. I basically, um, so a lot of, some of this rock is from my oldest system, some of it's from. Some of this new, like this rock right here. And um, I've been dumping, uh, if I can find it. Uh, I use this as my um, my bacterial choice for stability. Um, I did that. And basically, that's it. I added like, the fish after that. I did, um, so Tristan, shout out to Tristan Reese. He gave me some Fido. I'm going to be dumping this in the tank because I have this sponge. And the sponge need the phyto, I believe. So I just thought this guy was cool. Um, I did buy, oh, did I miss any question? It's a new way of old things, that's right. So yeah, King of Soul, I am running Sumpless right now. No sump is connected. Just all you need is flow. That's all you do. I did buy this, um, this Hannah Checker pH Checker. Have you added more pods? I haven't, see, that's one thing I, I didn't do add pods. Um, I don't know. I didn't want to spend the money on pods <laughs> right now. So I'll get some and add them to the refugium. So, um, I bought this pH test. It was for 40 bucks. They usually go for like 60 bucks, I think. Um, it's just like this salinity tester as far as, um, and I love this thing. If I just dip it in in there and see what your results are. So plus one for Hannah. I bought that at um, Resmart. That's what I bought it at, Resmart. Um, and that's it. Look at my radiant brass, guys. I love this. This was definitely a, um, I didn't say a dream fish, but a must have fish. Um, this guy's pretty cool, too. This damsel. He's a yellow belly and a yellow fin. 
and then blue in the middle. He's cool. These t this damsel right here, it bought two of them. There they go. They appear. They call the alien something damsel. They had this neon fluorescent um blue. It looks so good. Also, I got um from Resmart. I got uh I can't see them right now, but I got two more fire shrimps. So I have a total of six. I mean four fire shrimps in this tank, and two cleaner shrimps. So my girl really likes the fire shrimps. She bought those and I put them in the tank. So if you got a, a spouse, keep her happy by letting her buy stuff. Except for damsels, don't let her buy damsels. <laughs> I'm getting all SPS. Um, King of Soul, I'm gonna really surprise myself and everybody else with... So this is how I classify my... Um, Cause this is gonna be a mixed read, obviously, obviously, right? Um, I'm going to do dominant SPS, right? But stuff like the Gold Torch, which is sending some serious sweet botanicals out right now. The Gold Torch, um, the Ghania Pour, um, that torch, you feel these? I, I call those all accessory pieces. So you know how you have your car, right? And then you have accessories. So the car is, for me, gonna be SPS. SPS gonna be everywhere, right? But you got the little accessory pieces like the power seats and the tenant windows. Those are gonna be my accessory pieces. And then I have my filler pieces. So the Zoas. Now, I got a lot of Zoas. I always pick up Zoas. You could never have enough Zoas, to be honest. You could never have enough Zoas. So Zoas and eight cans. Zoa eight cans and rock flower. Those are gonna kind of be my filler pieces. So this is not the final skate. All those rocks in the back are coming out once I get my sump, you know, together. Um, and I'm just gonna have this big rock structure along with little islands. So that's gonna be an island. That's gonna be an island. That's an island. That rock in the back is an island. So um, that is a gold torch. That is the the covenant gold torch that. Somebody try to steal out the uh, LFS and they were selling for it. Listen, my, so this is my first reef show this year. And the prices for these gold torches are ridiculous. Like, they are stupid, yo. Seriously, like, one guy was selling for $3,000 for like three heads. That, that bubble tip looking good. And it already split. <laughs> So I got four bubble tips in here. I really want a nice rose one, but I can't find one. I'm still searching. You can see the uh, sponges. Can y'all see? Look at all that sponge and stuff on the on that rock. That's a good sign. Um, yeah, the, those those prices was, was really like they, I bought this gold torch. I bought this gold torch last year. For $150. $150, right? Now, right now, this joint is worth $750 and up. $750 to $1,000 and up. That's crazy. That's that's not even triple the price. That's like six times, seven times the price, 10 times the price. That's just crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I got from ReSmart. Um, definitely will be coming back next year if they will have me. Um, I really enjoy myself. Um, the kids really enjoyed this stuff. They had a lot of kid activities there. And um, that was a, you know, that's a, a definitely a lure. Um, when you could have a section for the kids to play and do their thing, you know, that's definitely something that's um, you got to take into consideration. Um, so, yeah. So, but yeah, all my SPS is going to be on this rock. It's gonna be all down this. I'm gonna stop right here, of course, because that gold torch is no joke. <laughs> but I'm gonna have a lot of SPS all on that ledge, just all over the rock. So we'll see how that works out. Some of my lower light corals are gonna be inside, like the mushrooms and you know, eight cans and stuff like that. I got plenty of light. Got this reef bright right here, which is I'm not really happy with the install I just did. Got my T5, and I'm gonna have four Ecotech Radeon XR15s with the diffusers. 
Um, right now with the diffuser, I might take them off though, because I don't know. The T fives might just blend it all out. You know, the, the shimmer. Um, didn't have to worry about you. Yeah, you don't have to worry about your ladies, like <laughs> the kids. Like I was walking around, I left them a couple times. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so yeah. And actually, this is a short tentacle gold torch. Not as popular, but I like it. Though. It's pretty cool. Um, that's not a final resting place. Um, I'm going to take it off that plug and try to stuff, stuff it in the rock. That's one thing I did learn from CJ's Aquariums is um, hide the skeleton. Um, when you installing your, your torches and frogs ponds and all that stuff, um, make sure you you know, wedge it in the rock so it, the skeleton is not showing. Like this one, the skeleton is not showing. It looks like a good puffy ball of coral. <laughs> but, you know, the frag plug and all that stuff is showing on this one. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that off and remount it and, you know, do my thing. This go touch is happy right here. Like, it's getting enough flow. The sweepers are out. <laughs> and it's serious. Like, this joint has killed some frog spawns and stuff like that. Torches to me, I, I, I won't trust this one beside another one because it's aggressive. And if the other torch wins, that means I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be out of a gold torch and I'm not gonna be happy about that. So yeah. So right now I got the T5s on, um, two T5s and a reef bright. So that's the color that y'all seeing. Um, uh, how good it's coming on camera, I don't know. Um, radiant grass is always out, and I have a yellow coarse grass in here. They don't, they're not on the same sleep schedule <laughs> at all. <laughs> he, a, he a late night partier. The go towards looks super. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving it right there. I'm not moving it. Um, I'm just gonna have to. I don't know what coils I'm gonna put around it. Um, I have no idea. Maybe some mushrooms, I don't know. <laughs> um, who knows, maybe some zoas. I don't think they're gonna stain the zoas up. I got plenty of zoas to put around there. So, like I said, it's gonna be my filler pieces. I'll move this over a little bit. So, I do wanna get one more damsel, and that's the Sprangler, Sprangler Eye Damsel. It's nice. Um, I'm not putting another torch over there. I just explain why I feel like I'm scared. Like this torch, like I said, has killed a torch with the sweeper tank, with the sweeper tentacles. But just say if I put another torch there and that torch decides to stain this one, it's gonna kill that and I'm not gonna like it. So I do want the flowy, I might put it on the other side of that rock, like facing the glass almost. But that, those tentacles, uh, they get really long. So he probably could reach them anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to leave well enough alone. That's one thing I learned in this hobby is to leave well enough alone. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you can, when you can help it. So I'm, I'm probably just going to leave well enough alone. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. That's If I ever decide to sell it. I, would, I really wouldn't sell this, you know, I really wouldn't sell this core because I like it so much. Like, I don't understand people that, if it grows like three or four heads and just become this big balloon, then yeah, I'll, you know, I'll sell a head, keep two, you know, sell, keep cut one, keep two. Um, But if it just stays like this, I'm not selling it, you know, I'm gonna keep it, keep it like it is. And it's been, like, I haven't, this haven't done nothing in a year. This has been the, matter of fact, it has got bigger. I'll say that much. But um, this actually went from the Lagoon to my tank, my 10, 105, and now it's in here. So it's really hardy. That's one thing I can say about this torch core because I had some problems with salinity and all kinds of stuff. And this joint is kicking tail. So it could be my parameters. I am using Tropic Moran's um, salt, the Pro Reef. So it's doing good. Could be the lights, could be the flow. Who knows? 
I know that when that Kelsey ride to come on, it's going to stabilize everything. What's up, What's up champ? Uh, three or four years, and that could be worth even more. True. True, true that, true that. I just mounted this Duncan on this rock, so I don't know what this rock going to become. I'm just going to let it. You know, one thing I did, um, I learned from this hobby is um, sometimes your plans don't go as planned. If that makes sense? Sometimes your plans don't go as planned. So I'm not going to try to plan everything out and this go here and, you know, try to visualize. I'm going to let it, I'm going to let my tank speak to me. And, and that's why I don't, um, I don't glue rock together. I just, like this ledge right here is just, it's wedged up in there, so it's not moving. It's really tight. But um, I don't epoxy anything together. I glue it so I can pop it off and re remove it. So I let my my tank speak to me, and I let that decide, you know, um, where I put my coils at. Now, of course, I'm using logic. Like, the high end, you know, the higher flow coils are going to go higher. I'm just talking about, like, like a a hammer right there. I may not like it right there. I might put it down there. You know, that kind of stuff. I'm just not going to put a coil there, leave it, and just say, you know, that's it. But I'm also going to let the coil speak to me also. Like, if it likes that that area, that flow, that, you know, if it's nice and puffy there, I'll leave well enough alone and just leave it there. So this hobby, this to me, this thing is all about um, making adjustments on the fly. I've been fragging heads off my torches when they get close to each other, getting lots of cool things, trade for torches. You can get whatever you want with that torch. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Phil. Yeah, I'm not, um, like I said, I'm not gonna be, I wanna keep it, you know, I wanna be like, hey, I got one of those. I don't wanna, see, to me this, you know, I try to um, keep the hobby as a hobby. Um, and that if, when it turns into a business, you know, that's different. But um, I want to keep the hobby a hobby for me. Like, I love this right here, this green and, and, and orange looking coral. Can't, I don't know the name of it, but it's an Acrestin coral. I think it's sweet. And it's a Ghanaian pour right here. It's, a, um, it's not like a long tentacle one. That's pretty sweet too. Here's a um, Jason Fox. Lepto. Let me see if I can turn it around a little bit. This one right here got some serious sweet botanicals also. It's a dragon soul fire right there. Right next to it. Um, those these and that's a um I can't think that's a sunset money or Superman. I can't remember the name of it. But these three are really bright. And that one's looking nice too. That's that's crazy. I'm gonna see how well the sponge do in my tank. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me answer, check the chat real quick. That sponge is wild. I don't know if anything about that. Yeah, I've seen it at, at stores before and actually um I bought it from like I said, I bought it from uh I can't remember the vendor's name, the sponge. Um, but then I stopped past frost. Um, coral that that guy that has like all of the tables, um, one of Rico's buddies, and he was saying like, yeah, that's a nice piece, but make sure it don't hit um, air. So these sponges cannot have, like I had to cut the bag open underwater, and and then release it. Like if they get air in it, it's gonna die. So I like I like that piece. That's that's real interesting actually, with the white. My my son Silas, he loves Superman, right? And this is called a Superman sponge, I think. Something like that. I mean not Superman, Spider-Man. This is called a Spider-Man sponge. He loves Spider-Man. And so I had to get a <laughs> adding a sump won't cause a mini cycle. Maybe. Um I don't know if it's caused I, I think you have many cycles throughout the um newish of the tank you know i think your tank always but i'm gonna add bacteria like crazy like i don't bacteria is a part of my um regimen like 
I do it with water changes, all that kind of stuff. So if it do like cause a mini cycle and a spike or something, I'll add that back to it. I'm actually gonna pick up some of that Fritz um, that CJ was talking about. Um, I heard of some good stuff, so. But this stability works. I, and to be honest with you guys, I didn't even test this for ammonia, nitrates, nothing. I just, I just threw them in. I had a lot, I had almost two bottles of this. This joint treats 2,000 gallons. So I was doing it like every night. And when I add fish, I'll add some bacteria in. And that's how I did it. <laughs> I, and I also had a lot of help. Um, these uh, these balls, these marine pure balls, was from my old system. And um, I had those inside the display tank. I just took them out uh, like last week. Um, thank you. That C works good too. Yeah, thank you. Uh, what's up, DC Coils are the awesome, especially the sponge. Thanks, thanks, Trav, Trav Reef Aquatics. So yeah, um, I will test for the. I will test for. Um, I may test for ammonia. I don't know. Everything looking good. I lost one fish, actually two, since I did like, since I've been doing the additions. To the tank, um, I lost a. Oh man, I lost a um a fat head. Sunburst Antheus, that didn't even make it through the night. Um, I don't know what happened with that. And then I lost one of these chromas, blue green chromas, which I'm not fond of right now because they have a school and they like spread it out the tank. I, I, I bought them the school, you know, so I disappointed. <laughs> but anyway, they're not schooling, so I don't know. Um, Got a little battle roll of clowns going on. I got tons of um, shrimps. Um, shrimps also help with the um, consumption of food, like when I feed. Um, it click like also this, I got this uh, frag in here that you gave me. I'm about to glue it up and add it to the tank. So appreciate that frag. Um, I have, um, what was I talking about? When I add fish to the tank, um, oh, when I add fish to the tank, I feed these shrimps um, pick up any food, like any uneaten food hits the ground, they, they on it. So that's the cleaner shrimp, they are on it. Um, so my next plan is really to get my um, the rest of my zoa over. I got this zoa like bonsai tree. I'm gonna cut, chop it up and add it to the, to somewhere. I don't know where yet. <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna be moving stuff around, but um I will be adding that. That's gonna really brighten this tank up for real. And and um and I will um as far as my tangs, because that's gonna be the last thing I add to the tank, all the tangs. I will be um I think I'm gonna turn my tangs in and get smaller versions of them. So I can add them at one time. So I plan on having like four tangs, four to five tangs. Definitely the blue hippo, powder blue, purple tang, yellow tang, and maybe a tamini tang. So if I'll have five tangs in here. Um, so we see how they go. I want to add them all at one time. That way they can work out all the aggression at one time. Who's the boss, who's not the boss and they, they could work it out. <laughs> um, what am I missing? Oh, if, again, if you guys haven't seen the video of the move when we moved this tank in here, go check it out. I thought it was a good video. Um, I've been getting hassled that I haven't been uploading to YouTube. I've been getting hassled by fellow YouTubers. Hey, what's up, JJ, 14G? Um, thank you. I've been getting hassled on YouTube, I mean, on my other platforms saying I don't upload to YouTube. So when I do upload a video, y'all better watch it because I'll go back to IG. <laughs> they clean the rest. I love this guy. Um, I, I'm actually looking for another cleaner rest. Actually, two more cleaner rest. Um, one is called the Hawaiian cleaner rest. Um, I'm going to see if my LFS can get it and get it eaten. And the other one's called the Red Sea Blue. Clean the rest. It's pretty dope. So, 
we'll see. I love the cleaner rats. They have a, a very interesting personality. Um, they got an interesting swim pattern. I like that. And they do a job. They clean fish and parasites and all that good stuff. So, and these clowns are, they are, in, well, they are fighting like hell. And I got four enemies for them to, you know, basically just do that. I don't understand, man. I don't understand why fish fight. Like, y'all go on that side, y'all go on that side, and we're gonna have problems. <laughs> the clownfish, I don't need them sw free swimming. They could just host their an enemy and have their little zone. Um, but, like I said, I'll let them figure it, sort it out. I'm not pulling no. And that's, that's another thing. Um, the enemy, I'm, I'm looking for a nice rose bubble tip. And I want it to be like at the bottom, like rose. These are rainbows. I have plenty of rainbow. Um, but I want that nice rose bubble tip where it's like nice dark red. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get one locally. Um, and I want to, I want to put that in before I stop putting SPS and stuff. I want that to get settled. It looked like that little crevice. Like this would be a perfect spot for a rose bubble tip and enemy. And I got another little opener right there, like a um, barnacle. That'll be a nice spot at the bottom here. Will be a nice spot. Um, so somewhere I can see him. So we'll see. But um, let me. Uh, yeah, the white told me JJ is doing more than me, but looking forward to new water box, JJ. Um, I'm not sure what that's about. You have a new tank, JJ? I'm not sure. Um, is Are you the same JJ that um, Rico helped out with the tank or something? Got a water box from Saltwater Aquariums? I don't know. Um, let me, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, follow you, JJ. See what you, do. see what you're doing. I haven't been on YouTube as much. I've been on Instagram. It's to me, it's easier. <laughs> Look at that. I like the all right. So the cleaner shrimp. If you guys want a cleaner like shrimp that's like front and center, the cleaner shrimps are more personable. They're out more than the fire shrimps. The fire shrimps, uh, you will see them like hanging in the ledges and all that good stuff. Like they go fire shrimp underneath, but the cleaner shrimps will be out, out and about, front and center. Like they go another cleaner shrimp right there, fire shrimp back there. But yeah, if you want to see, definitely get the cleaner and the fire shrimp. I would stay away from the um, coral banded shrimps. The guys are real aggressive. So, Mr. Rico sent me a seventy point three water box from salt. Awesome man, that is awesome, JJ. Hopefully y'all can, um, Mr. Rico can help you out. He's very knowledgeable and help you out more as you go along. So congrats, JJ. I'll make sure I go check out your, your channel. So this is a little butthole of a rash just kicked up some sand, creating um, dust storms. Look at him. What you about to do? What, what you about to do? They create dust storms. So I don't particularly like dust storms. <laughs> so I'm hoping that's just a temporary thing. Um, and he'll grow out of it. So I don't mind him doing the dust storms when he's going to sleep, but not during the day. Like he's like he looking for food or whatever. There they go fighting again. Damn it, man. I need to get along. I need to get some on, bro. Look, the other clown try to break it up. <laughs> um, I won't be in New York, unfortunately. Um, JJ. Damn, he's biting him. Um, I won't be in um, New York, unfortunately. Um, that's my um, that's a weekend I had planned already. I'll be in New Orleans celebrating my my baby's birthday, so I won't be in not this time, not Reef Cooler this time. So, um, yeah.
Okay, so I'm about to hit jump off this, guys. Um, thank y'all for joining me. So, showing y'all what I had at the Reese Mart. Um, oh, New Orleans, that's where you live at? Awesome. Um, yeah, I'll be at, um, I'll be in New Orleans, not on Fish Keeper Town. <laughs> so, let me go ahead and turn this. Uh, I don't have no timer on this thing. This is the, let me show you guys the blue lights real quick before we leave. This is the one reef bright. And that this this just makes everything look like fire. <laughs> look at the gold torch. Um yeah this makes everything look like fire almost. Um I love this glow at night. It's just beautiful. So but that's it guys. Uh Appreciate y'all joining in me. Um, I'll try to do another update on YouTube this week. Maybe next Sunday, I don't know. We'll see, I'm tired. I got a lot of work to do, so. I got plumbing to do. I got paint jobs to do. I got a lot of stuff to do, so. I'll try to keep you guys informed. And um, if you're not following me on Instagram, go hit me on Instagram, DC Reefer. And you'll see my little icon, the guy with the backwards hat and the sunshades. <laughs> and, that, and that's me. So um, go ahead, follow me on Instagram. I post there more than anything. So hit me up on Instagram, and I'll catch y'all later.